All right, guys, welcome back. Just going over some of the 3D features of the laptop I've been asked to show. This is the box that you get with the inside the laptop box from Dell. This is the outside box. It's kind of a sort of a slip cover that goes over this box over here. And in, inside here, inside that big pocket, you'll find your shades. And inside the little pockets, you'll find the accessories that came with your shades. And now let's see if I can... A moment, let's see this. All right, now with movie magic, I can show you what's inside so you get your shades 3D glasses from NVIDIA. So nice. You see that button there? That's the button you would press to turn on the features, and it uses this little infrared over here on your laptop to get that working. So, these are your shades pretty nice. If you were to buy these by themselves, they're pretty expensive. Pretty cool, a little dirty there. but Pretty awesome. Active shutters. You also get a little, a couple of these little nose things there you want to put on there. If you, I guess if you wear them out, you can replace them for comfiness. Maybe probably even makes it comfier. I guess I'm not even play with it. You also get a nice little holder there. It's velvet on one side. Got an Nvidia logo. Awesome. I'm an Nvidia freak. <laughs> and that's you would put everything. You put the glasses in here, and then here you put your accessories. It also comes with a micro USB charger cable, which you would use to charge it with. It's got a little charge port over here, see? Pretty cool, rechargeable 3D glasses, so awesome. And then, <clears throat> let's say you wanted to um, do something in 3D, you would go ahead and put the shades on, put these on, hit the little button I talked about, turn those on right there, and then over here, in your laptop, you have to go to your NVIDIA properties, open up the NVIDIA control panel, And then one of the tabs says set up the stereoscopic 3D. You enable it, hit apply, and bam. Now every mo every game you play, automatically will try to play in 3D. And if it, if it's if it's and you know if the game developers did it right, it, it's gonna look great. Now as you can see, the images are coming out doubled. So the glasses are doing most of the work. Active shutter glasses are doing most of the work. Let's say we bring up the main menu. See? It's all double. There's a double and a, gl and a globe. So if you had your shades on, that would be 3D right there. Yeah. And you would just play it. Even, I believe, if you hit Control, Control, Alt, and Insert, yeah, see? If you control, hit Control, Alt, Insert, it tells you information about the game in 3D. So it says, good. It's got a good rating. But some objects render at wrong depth. Multiplayer and zombie modes rated excellent. So that's pretty cool if you hit control alt, insert to all the games a little message like that pops up and you can see if the game that you're playing was designed to be in 3d you know so let's say you go to fear 3 it's one of the little older game still a great game and so in fear 3 let's do the same thing and there it says rating not recommended. So some games just weren't made to be in 3D and they just won't look good. Some it might have some kind of issue with it. So uh, play it normal. Alright guys. Right now we're gonna play a little bit with the screen. Lower the brightness a little bit. <laughs> play with the screen and show you just while just using it normally. And let's see here. Okay, so right now on the bottom I've got just Google Chrome running 
and then I've got a couple of windows open. I also have a movie maker where I was doing the movies I'm filming. I have MRC up. Uh, I love MRC. Yeah. Tons of stuff on there. I got um, one of the videos I made also there. And I've got a WinRAR that I, I filed I'm extracting. Uh, it's not extracting yet, but I just want to show you before I do that. Up here I've got WinAmp. I don't know if you ever had WinAmp, but WinAmp Modern, you're able to double click and dock the window to the top up here. And then the playlist here on the right has been docked away so that I just move my mouse to the right and my list, my, my songs come out, my MP3s. So now let's, for example, let's start extracting. Hit this background. Now let's play a video. This is a small video going over the new laptop. Uh, the volume. Bring that down. And then, I mean, you, I mean, this is just nothing slowing this thing down. Putting it over here. Now, as you can see, I'll lower the volume I'm making. Got the MRC rolling. These are channels at the same time. And then let's say I play with the Windows button. And you got that live video playing there. Pretty cool. Let's check out the task manager. So you've got, it's a quad core processor, but because of they have hyper threading, they're able to show eight different processors running. And then down here you can see my memory. And now I've got 3.12 gigs being used up of memory, of RAM, of my available 16. So I've got all that left over to play with. And I mean, I'm not, right now we're just playing around. All right, guys, let's do a couple of games. Let's do uh, some MMOs. Um, that's Movie Maker right there. I'm doing these movies on. And um, I've got Winamp running on the top. That's a pretty cool thing I used to love doing. You dock the top Winamp window. This is Winamp. I don't know if you've ever seen Winamp normally. That's Winamp. When you, you just go through the options and you dock it, so that when I double click it, it goes to the top, and then you dock your playlist to the right with auto hide. So you, when you move your mouse, it pops up. anyways, uh, let's go ahead and play. Uh, I've got, I don't know if you guys have seen the new game Age of Empires online, it's free to play. Oh, it's updating, that's complete. And um, I don't know if you've seen it, but it's online, so you don't, you don't pay, and you pay, basically have to pay for it. Upgrades and premiums within the game itself. Let's see. When I picked uh, my my character, I went with the Greeks. You know, the Greeks were classy. You get tons of choices, but I like the Greeks. Crank up the volume. I don't know if you can tell, but subwoofer helps. It's pretty much <laughs> destroyed. This looks great. And uh, I don't know if you ever played the game, but your quest. It's a lot of fun. You can build stuff, but yeah. See, it's just running so nice. Seen that? Let's 
go ahead and show you the next game. Bam, fast, we're out of there. All right guys, and over here, what I've done is I'm bringing one of the movies into Windows Movie Maker and um, it's using up the RAM, I mean not the RAM, it's using the processor. It's going 57, 79, 73% all processors are going. But while it's doing that, why don't we play around with the lap PC and see what else can do. Yeah, this, this is my eBay. Bringing down the things. Yeah, it's just, I mean, what, 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 <laughs> What are you going to do? Even if it maxed out all of my 8 cores, I still have all this RAM that I can that I can use to still run smoothly and not have to worry about anything. Yeah, guys. And it's portable. But yeah, guys. That's just a little bit about the laptop. So cool. Thank you.